Ok Vous pouvez commencer. Je peux commencer. En français, donc. <laughs> so, um, I did a, a talk uh, today, and I, I forgot there was, there was capital for English and French. There was an error in LibreOffice. And I didn't know there was a capital in, in English. When you, when you put English speaker and French speaker, you need a capital. I learned it today. Okay, uh, so I, I will try to, to talk about, uh, about F-Trace. And uh, basically, I am a French Linux developer, writer and teacher. Uh, I am a CTO for a French company working on partly on embedded systems. It's a quite a big company in open source, but we have about uh, 70 people working on embedded systems. It's called Smile ECS. Smile is the main company, ECS is the department. And I wrote a book, uh, several books about embedded Linux, and the last one, Linux Embarqué in French is uh, embedded Linux, and the last one is, uh, was available in, in the end of uh, the last year. For Christmas, if you wait, people, you can offer my book. So, uh, what is F Trace? Is um, the official tracer for the Linux kernel. There are several tracers in the Linux kernel. The first one, one of the first one, was LTT, but LTT was not mainline. I don't think it's mainline today. So, F Trace uh, is available since uh, 2.6.31. And uh, it's main, mostly developed by Steven uh, Rosted from uh, Red Hat. And uh, Steven uh, left Red Hat some months ago. He's working for VMware today. And he's a, he's a developer for Preentrt, which is uh, quite uh, close to, to F-Trace because you need to measure the, some problems with Preentrt. So there are lots of features for tracing. You can trace, of course, you can trace fun functions. You can trace events and latency. It's not a debugger, but uh, it's, a, it's a kind of profiler. So I, I say the debug application with, uh, with F-Trust, but it's not really a debugger. Uh, it's available in uh, most of standard distribution. For example, on my, uh, on my Ubuntu, you can, uh, you can use F-Trace. I will, I will show you. And it's based on DebugFS. If you, if you want to activate, if you compile your kernel by yourself and activate have trace or disactivate if you want to. You uh, you have to access to kernel hacking tracers. So uh, for for example, uh, you have to mount if 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 it's not done, you have to mount the debug FS on syskernel debug, and on syskernel debug you have an entry tracing, and you have to access as root, and you can see all the files, the virtual files to access the the F trace uh, system. So there are some uh, important files uh, I put in, in bold as trust, which is the result of f trust, available events, and available trusters. Uh, and um, very important file is the tracing on, which is uh, a switch for activating or disactivating uh, uh, F-Trace. And this is on, on my Ubuntu, it is default to one. So you should put knob to the current tracer. Otherwise, you will trace everything, and you will get a Commodore CXT64 inside of a PC. It's a code for, for Steven Rostet. I'm not a author. So uh, the procedure is quite simple. You set a tracer and a filter. For example, wake up RT. Uh, you enable tracing. You run a program, for example, Hackbench which is a program to, to generate load on the system. You disable the tracing and you can get the result. The result. For example, tracing max latency. Uh, I will say but there, there is a, a solution if you use an embedded system to, to run the tracer, on the, of course, on the system and to send the data to a remote PC, for example. Because, uh, it's of course, it generates big files and so for example, if I use Yocto on a, or build root on a Raspberry Pi, the, the, the file system is quite small, and so the, the files can be, can be on the file system, except on the boot uh, partition, because it's bigger on the FAT, the, the FAT partition. I don't know why, but it's bigger. 
So you, it's better to send uh, to send the file to to the to the PC. Uh, there is um, an example, another example. For example, you want to 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 trust the the function of a simple driver. Um, you set a function graph for a function. Function graph is much better because it, it sets a graph of a, a C C like graph. You set the filter, you trace only the, the function of uh, my driver 3. Uh, you trace, and you, uh, you know Toto for French is uh, like a foo and bar for US. And, uh, so, so story of Toto are very fam famous in, uh, in France. Uh, so you send something to the driver, and you, you can get, uh, you can get uh, the result uh, from, the, from the trace. So if we if we have time, I, I, will, I can show you uh, to to have both stress and uh, cr trust to 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 show the two way of uh, debugging the the system. So some uh, one slide only on the basic internals. Uh, it's based on uh, it's a, a bit uh, surprising, but it, it's based on, on M count. It's a GCC profiler, just like in user space, but not really the same. Uh, when you compile with dash pg, you, you, you generate a, a call to mcount at the beginning of the func function, but it's, uh, there, there is lots of overhead. overhead dog, there, there is a complex, uh, complex system embedded in the Linux kernel to replace the mcount to NOP instruction. Uh, there is a program to, to record the counts, etc., etc., to make it uh, work very nice. But it's based on mcount, and mcount is very old. It's, it was available on Unix before Linux. I, I remember it was on Unix al already. So there is a reference uh, conference from uh, for Stephen from Stephen about about the subject. So real-time programming mostly is based on periodic uh, periodic tasks. Uh, you can use, for example, POSIX timer for soft real time. Such as timer create, timer set time, which uh, will generate a signal, and the signal is not real time, really real time, not hard real time, but it's a soft real time. If you want to use hard real time and better better results, you can use a, a clock nano sleep instead. For example, we we will see a test with preamp 30 at the end on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, you can you can get G GPIO and uh, with a big Picoscope, uh, actually a small oscilloscope. Uh, you can measure the, the system load and, s and see the see the latencies. So this is uh, this is on a big album black with a one millisecond period. It's idle system, quite idle system. One millisecond is not so so short, but if you start some some task, you will be, you will get this result, which is not very nice. Uh, it's with the Hackbench. Uh, a tool from the RT test package. Um, so, if you want to test events in real time with FTRAS, there is a one way to, to use a SCAD wake up event. So, you, you set knob to the current tracer, it's not actually not the same uh, tracing way. Uh, way of tracing, so you, sh you put the SCAD wake up to set event. Uh, you, tr you activate the trace, you start uh, an example uh, cyclic test, which, which is an example of the RT test package, which generates uh, some, uh, some uh, threads with priority, etc. It's uh, just like this. I can show you some demo. If you, uh, okay, cyclic test. Okay, so it's, it's on the PC, so you will see the worst case on the, on the, on the right in a microseconds. It's a, so it's a, just a periodic task with a one millisecond period. Okay, so it's quite simple to use. Uh, if you got tired of slashes because it's, uh, it's a bit uh, boring to, to, uh, to do echo, 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 etc. And cut. You have a trust CMD command, which is in text mode, written. It's a, it's, a, it's a contribution to the project. And there is a kernel shark, 
which is based on GTK. It should be based on Qt in the future because uh, Steven will work on, uh, at VMware, he will work on, uh, on the upgrading the kernel shark at full time, he said. So, well, it's a, it's a good idea because kernel shark is not uh, that sub stable. And I don't like uh, GUI a lot. So, so for Trust CMD, you, you use a record and report. Uh, record to record and report to display. Well, and you create by default. You will create a trace.dat file. You can create uh, use a remote server access in listen on a PC. For example, you trust CMD listen uh, with a number of ports, and uh, on the target on the embedded system, you you say to 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 send the data to the to the PC with the same uh, with the same program to trace CMD record. Uh, my dash e uh, sked wake up and you will see uh, if you if you report on the pc it's much better to do that on, on the pc and the file is on the pc uh, you you play the file and you can you can you can check there is a one millisecond difference between each event well it's only text mode so uh, you have to to do best better things for for Marketing people, for example, okay, or co com communication people, or anything you want, or your mother-in-law, or anything. Uh, so for for the text mode, you have to extract data. You can use GNU plot, and you have static results, but the GNU plot is very powerful. Uh, kernel shark is dynamic and interactive, but it's a GUI and uh, it's not that stable. As I say, it, it should be improved by uh, by Steven. Uh, and uh, there, there are lots of lots of buttons in the kernel shark, and I hate uh, buttons. So it's quite strange. Some, sometimes it works. <laughs> it works, but uh, I don't. Well, it works, but I don't understand really the results between two. To try, so it's, it's a bit strange. Well, something like that. So it's very complicated, <coughs> with lot of scholars. So we we select uh, the right CPU, and you can uh, drag with this fucking mouse. Of course, it's for a demo, so it uh, doesn't work. Well. I will, I will, ah, okay, it's best. Okay, 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 check. You will see. Well, well. So here you can see uh, you can get uh, the va the value. So there is a. Okay. Whoa. I don't I don't like it, but it's fine for to display should be better in the future. OK, so um, I did it in the, in the tallies today. today. <laughs> Just add two, two slides about kernel shark. So you can see, you can see the timestamp here. And the next one, with the next, uh, the next event, you will see the timestamp is updated about one millisecond. OK? It's nice be because it's interactive. But uh, I will show that. Another way to, to work with FTRAS, I will test preamp 30 uh, on, a, on a Raspberry Pi with a one millisecond period, another one, but it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a program to generate uh, activity on the GPIO. So there, there are two versions. The first one used on uh, POSIX timer and signals, SIG uh, alarm signal, and the so second one is based on NanoSleep. So you can load the, the Raspberry Pi with the flute ping or anything you want. And there is several, uh, several ways to, to test it. The first one uh, records the event with a real-time program, but in scale the other, so with no prior, prior static priority. OK? The second one uses sketch CFO with a high priority. priority. So you, you can set the priority of a program on Linux by using CHRT. It's much better than writing the code inside the program. I did realize this uh, two years ago. 
Um, so you say uh, sketch FIFO F and 1994 pri priority. And the last one, you, test, you do the, temp the same test with a uh, pre um, real time uh, program. Okay? And you compare the result with a GNU plot. So the sketch FIFO uh, with the timer is awful. <laughs> You have a, a line here, but uh, with a, a, a kind of cloud around. It's not a cloud. Uh, it's a, it's a, okay, this is not a, a point. This is a legend. Okay, because every time I show the, the picture, everybody say, why, why is the, why is the point is here? It's a legend. Okay, the second test. It's uh, scared other. But with clock, clock nano sleep, it's not real time. But see, it's not that bad, okay? Because there is no signal, and the third one is a preemptor T with a sket FIFO and high priority, so it's a, it's the best, okay? So I can show you maybe, well, I can show you uh, some uh, 10 minutes left, okay. For example, how, how to use uh, F-trace directly. So, sys kernel debug. So on sys kernel debug, you have uh, lots of uh, tracing uh, subsystem. For example, you can trace, there, there should be a USB. Uh, you can trace a USB transfer, etc. It's not only for extras, of course. So, tracing on. Get current tracer. Okay, okay. Friction graph. current tracer. I don't remember is no rep. It's better with grip. Okay, I, I will ins I will insert uh, it's always the same examples. Okay, so it's uh, it's a very simple driver which reads uh, read the data, put it in a buffer, and we send data. So you do. My OK. So I will set the filter. OK. So you have the, you have the new functions. Uh, so I put my driver to Okay. Okay. So why are you using trace command? Because it's it's uh, it's too to take the ten minutes. <laughs> no, but um, uh, it's for sure. Actually, a trace CMD is nice for uh, for tracing events. I th it is my opinion. Trace CMD is fine for tracing events when you want to record data. But I think uh, slash this is better to 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 trace to trace a driver just to show uh, the, the function call, etc. This is my opinion. This is not the same uh, way to use f -trust. So if you if you write uh, Toto again, <laughs> it, it works only with Toto in France. Okay, you will see. Oh, I forgot to to to, to activate the tracer. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's my. Uh, Okay, so um, I put the, I put the 
function function graph tracer. So it's for, there is a time for du time of duration. If I uh, if I change the tracer to to function, <coughs> it will be different. Okay, but it's it's quite it's quite the same. You have the color and the it's called why, why is it by the VFS the right, etc. And so now you can uh, you can uh, display the content of the of the pseudo file and okay okay okay. So it's it's interesting if you have a driver and you want to check the timestamp for for the calling. Okay, thank five minutes. So I will I will uh, tell a, a story of Toto. No. <laughs> um, so I, if you have any question, do you have any question? I would like to ask um, if the F trace is able to trace uh, just the function and entry points and exit points or something else. Can I trace something else in the functions themselves? Uh, actually, you can you can put uh, markers in in F trace. There are lots of possibilities. I focus on real time, but of, but you can put markers inside the code, and you can see the marker. It's a, it's called trace marker, F trace marker. Um, you can put the marker, and then uh, you you will see the the, the marker in. Uh, I have I have some slide about it. Okay. If you want, just to. Just to see, it's it's in French, but uh, you, it would be fine too. It's for for the students. So. Uh, French encryption. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not this one. Debug. G FTT, F trace. You can well, you can do some some things such as you can use a trace pin car, for example, in your in your driver, and oh sorry, and then you uh, you will uh, see the the message in the in the tracer. So it's uh, very interesting, and in your fun function graph you will see it as a comment, and you can uh, you can add a, you can use a trace marker, and. Um, for example, in a user space code, you can write to the marker file descriptor before nano, after nano, and then uh, you will see the, the comments in the, in the function graph. So you can add some things and to, to help to see what happens in the kernel. Uh, how does this compare with LTPG kernel place? FDG, FD and G kernel place. FD and G? FD LTTNG. Oh, <laughs> this is LTTNG. <laughs> it's a bit complicated, actually. Uh, when we began to work on um, on the real time as, as uh, with my company, which was called OpenWide, we started with LTTNG because uh, F trust was not available for Airbus, for for the planes, for testing the planes. And uh, we switched to F-Trace because LTTNG was very complica complicated. It's not mainline, so you have to, to take one version of the kernel with one version of the patch, etc. It's much better to use mainline functionalities because uh, it works on all platforms. It's always the same interface. Well, it's I think it's much better. But LTTNG was fine, but it was a bit difficult to set, to set up, as you can see on the picture. To define the priority by constant, can it be viable to be context aware? The priority? Yes. But if it is real time, the priority is, is static. Yeah, but uh, for example, within the stock, stock exchange, uh, when you are close to the fixing, yeah. uh, what you focus the, the, the most is the execution of the service. You don't want uh, the, uh, the service to, uh, to, to drop because of the consumption of the tracing. Yeah. Uh, uh, so can, can you uh, 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 can you drop the service uh, uh, because of strong uh, con con contextual uh, 
context uh, constraint. Uh, you mean uh, re regarding F trace or? Yeah. Well, you can do anything you want. You, you but actually, when you start uh, F trace, you start F trace with. A, it's not a problem with F trace. It's a problem with a command line. Well, this, when you when you start a command with a with a specific priority. This command. So when you, this is a static priority. But if you want to to modify the pr priority, you should set the setting of the priority inside the program. If you want to change it. But uh, uh, with uh, CHRT, it's, it's for starting a program with a static priority. But you can, of course, you can you can write a program. But it's not a program with F trace. It's a program. It's a problem with uh, with the program itself. If I or, or, or I don't understand your question. So you have to reload to reload the service. Uh, with the with the no, no, I don't think so. If uh, if there is a modification of the priority of a thread inside the program, uh, Ftrace will uh, will trace it in without uh, any problem. Yeah. Uh, how Ftrace is compared to extended BPF? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I know I extended BTPF, but I, I didn't use it, so I can't answer so, to the question. F-trace is you can trace uh, you can trace uh, uh, user space program uh, with uh, use, by using uh, trust markers, but mostly is is used for for tracing kernel functions and events in real time events. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.